What's up guys, it's Emily and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do another final record collection video. I really enjoy doing these. The only problem is that the last two years I didn't really have a lot of money to spend on new records. Um, because I have a lot of other expensive hobbies and things in my life as well. So there's nothing new to show you guys. So I also cannot record a final update because the whole idea of that is that I show you final records that are new in my collection. But I still have quite a lot of records over here and I'm quite sure that I haven't showed all of them yet. So I just thought I'd do a final collection video of some of my favorite records in my collection. You might have seen some of them before, but still I thought it might be a fun idea to do this. So I hope you will enjoy watching. I'm going to show you my favorite records in my collection in no particular order. So I'm just going to grab the first one over here and this is Conformicide by Havoc. I really like this album and this is a Gatefold Deluxe double LP with etching on side D and that looks really cool. I will show it to you. So this is what's inside the cover and I have the black vinyl and this is the etching. I hope you can see it because my lamp and my window are reflecting a lot. So yeah, that's Havoc Conformicide. I really love this album. I believe they released their newest album two days ago. I haven't checked it out, but if you did, then please let me know what you think about it. Let's move on to the next record. This is Chemistry of Consciousness by Toxic Holocaust. And I've shown this album many times on my channel before. I really like this album. It's my favorite Toxic Holocaust album. I really love the artwork as well with the snake and I really love this color scheme. I have a long sleeve with this artwork on it and I wear it all the time. I've had it for years now so the print is fading but I don't really mind honestly. Um, in here is a sheet with the artwork and the lyrics. Honestly, I don't exactly remember what I paid for my records. I got most of them online at record fairs or at shows. I don't exactly remember. I might have mentioned it in my Trash Metal Final Collection video. So I will link it in the information thing over here in case you want to see that. I think for most records I paid between 15 and 25 euros maybe and next is one of my favorites of course that's what this video is about but I really love this album this is Splatter Trash by Ghoul I got this one at the Tank Crimes website I see that this color was called Splatter 5 because there are multiple pressings of this album it's also a lyric sheet in here and the colors of this record are so amazing look at this so beautiful i also really like this label sticker next up is my favorite iron maiden record this is seven song always seven song and I see that I paid 16 euros for this at a record fair. It was used, but I don't really mind. Still plays very good. And then the next one is my second favorite Iron Maiden album. This is Somewhere in Time. I really love the artwork. And this sticker says LP lightly damaged but it plays good. So I paid only six euros and 50 cents for it, which is really cheap. But yeah, that's because it's damaged and you can hear some light scratch noises, but I don't really mind, honestly. And I also have a long sleeve of this album. Maybe I can show you. Wait a second, I'll get them. So 
here I have the t-shirts that I was talking about. This is the Somewhere in Time one. So nice. Artwork on the front. Somewhere in Time Eddie on the back. And on the sleeves it also says Somewhere in Time. And this is the Toxic Holocaust one. As you can see the print has faded a lot. But I don't really mind. It still looks really great. Artwork on the front. A snake with toxic metal punk on the back and the logo on both sleeves. Both of these long sleeves are bootlegs from eBay. They are not available anymore. And at the time I didn't really think about it, but at this point in my life I wouldn't buy bootlegs anymore because it doesn't support the bands. So yeah, get official merch! The next record is a 12 inch picture disc and I never really play it. I also kind of forgot that I got this in my collection. I found it while I was searching what I wanted to show in this video. But this is the Year Zero picture disc by Ghost. And the artwork is so beautiful and that's why it belongs in this video. I don't remember where I got it actually. I do know that I ordered it online but I really have no idea anymore so I can't help you with that. And on side A it has year zero and on side B it has the same song but then backwards. Next up is this amazing split by Municipal Waste and Toxic Holocaust called Toxic Waste. I have shown this record on my channel and Instagram many times because it's just so beautiful. The color that I got is the Clear Splatter. I also really like the artist that made this artwork. I follow him on Instagram and his work is so good. He's done a lot of trash metal albums. Again, a lyric sheet and this is the reason why this is one of my favorite records. Look at this. This is so beautiful. I really love splattered vinyl, but especially this clear vinyl with different colors on it. It's just so beautiful. Next album is an album that I play quite often. This is Get What You Give by The Ghost Inside. It also included a free CD. But that's in my CD closet over there. I got it signed by the whole band five years ago at Groesrock Festival in Belgium. And that's when I saw them for the first time. And unfortunately that's the only time I saw them because it was before their accident. I'm not really familiar with their other work, but this album is so good. It's really one of my favorites. I don't play all my vinyl records very often. Um, there's just some that I like to grab, like this one, as I said. And some of them are just for the collecting. For example, the picture discs. I really like to own them, but I don't really play them. Next up is 13 Step by A Perfect Circle and I really love this album. It's a gatefold album cover and a double LP. This is the 180 gram audiophile vinyl pressing. I paid 26 euros and 99 cents for it. Which I think is quite a lot, but I just love this album so much that I really wanted to get it in my collection. The next one is the self-titled album by Dr. Living Dead. This is their first album I discovered and I really wanted to get this on vinyl. And I remember that it was really hard to find. It was sold out everywhere. The Discog sellers that I was trying to contact didn't respond, so I didn't trust it. And after a long time I found it at a local record fair, which I didn't expect at all at the time. But I'm really happy to have this in my collection. It was 15 euros and it came with a poster. Okay, 
So like I said, it came with a poster and it's quite big. I framed it and I currently don't have a space for it, but still, it's really nice. I have the black final edition. There's also a bubblegum pink one that I actually really wanted, but yeah, I'm just content to own this album because it was quite hard to find, so the black final will have to do. The next one is also by Dr. Living Dead. It's called Cosmic Conqueror and it's their most recent album. And the reason why this is one of my favorites in my collection is because they gave it to me to thank me because I did some of the photography in this album. And they also signed it for me. Unfortunately, my name is spelled wrong, but it doesn't really matter. That's not what it's about. And I believe this is also the black final. Yes. Also has a lyric sheet and the photos. And like I said, I took these two. But I said that many times on my channel, so I won't bore you with that story anymore. And the next album is Wildlife by La Disput, if that's the right pronunciation. I really love this album. Gatefold album cover. Can you see this? Yes. I bought this album online and it was quite expensive. I think about 27 euros. I don't exactly remember. It was a long time ago. But the costs went up even higher when it arrived because I had to pay a lot of import costs. So this might have cost me about 40 or 50 euros in total. I don't remember. But that's a lot in my opinion. And in the sleeve, I also had this booklet. It looks like a CD booklet, so I don't know. Because I also have this album on CD, so I don't really know if it belongs with the CD or with the vinyl record. But for some reason, I kept it in here. So I'm just gonna put it back. And then it's already time for the last record that I'm going to show you today. And it's my current favorite album. It is When We All Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go by Billie Eilish. I really love the artwork. It's a gatefold album cover with all the song lyrics. This is her debut album that came out last year. And she also released singles and an EP before this. And I have the yellow vinyl record. Looks so cool. Yellow is my favorite color, so I'm really happy with this. I don't have a lot of yellow vinyl in my collection. So that's it for this video. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite vinyl records are. If you collect them as well, maybe you have a beautiful picture disc or a colored vinyl or just an album that you have great memories of. So yeah, let me know. I would really like to read that and maybe we can talk a bit about it. Then that's it. I really hope that you enjoyed watching. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future. It would really help me a lot. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!